If you follow my channel over the last week, it's been an exciting ride. I raised this question about the security of the military itself. Wondering out loud, what would have happened if Trump would have tried to use the military to defy the will of the people and how we voted? Retired generals who love my channel quickly wrote an op-ed the next day. It got picked up by... The Young Turks the day after, and when I was riding in my car today, NPR was even talking about this. And the Pentagon itself has responded to the king of the libturds. They failed to denounce white supremacy. They failed to make any rules that you can't be involved with the KKK and in the military. And we got 50% of America living inside this bubble of delusion where they can't even recognize things that are reality. Like, remember, people thought coronavirus was a hoax. They used to think climate change was a hoax, too. How's that going to be a secure situation when those people are in the military? This is exactly why I'm forced to run for U.S. President in 2024, and it shows you just how important my game plan is. Because remember, step one, we classify the KKK and other such groups as actual terrorist organizations. And then, obviously, you cannot be in the military and the KKK at the same time. I don't know how they possibly thought it was even okay to have people who pledged their allegiance to the defeated Confederacy or defeated Nazi Germany in the military. In 2024, AOC plus OG is going to transform and make America secure again. And it won't just be the military where you'll lose your job if you're affiliated with these groups and their ideology. Judges, police, Congress members, anybody working under the U.S. government will lose their job under our administration if they are found to be affiliated with these groups. We're going to go after the fake news propaganda who put our country in danger, filling our loved ones heads with crazy ideas and not only our loved ones the president of the united states himself along with all the people in the military who might be under the spell of victor putin's propaganda one of the things i pledge to do is use government sponsored lawyers to bring class action lawsuits to those fake newsers because the truth is they should be paying for people's funerals when they spread that garbage about coronavirus we'll pull this whole country from out of that fog and we can finally start to get some some work done.